So, despite losing Kirk Cousins back in week 8, the Minnesota Vikings season appears to be alive and well. In the two weeks since Cousins' injury, the Vikings have beaten the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints, extending their winning streak to five games and pushing their record to 6-4 and four in the year. These wins have come at the hands of the newly acquired Joshua Dobbs at quarterback, who has been relying heavily on TJ Hawkinson early on in his Vikings tenure. In Dobbs' first two games, he's targeted Hawkinson 27 times, by far the most on the team, with Jordan Addison being his second most targeted receiver with only 14 total targets. This of course will change once Justin Jefferson returns from the injured reserve, but as of right now, Hawkinson has been absolutely crushing it with his new quarterback. His two game totals currently sit at 18 receptions for 203 receiving yards, with his fourth touchdown of the season. Even with Jefferson's return expected sooner rather than later, I would expect Hawkinson to continue to see a consistent number of targets from Dobbs, as Jefferson has simply not had the time to mesh with the new quarterback the way that Hawkinson has. The elite tier of fantasy tight ends definitively have their third member to join the likes of Travis Kelsey and Mark Andrews, and with an upcoming matchup against the Denver Broncos, you can expect Hawkinson to continue his high level of production. Upcoming games for the Vikings include not just the Broncos, but also the Bears and the Raiders, a prime scenario for the Vikings to extend their winning streak to 8 games. It's going to be a difficult finish, so they have to win these easy matchups and build as much of a cushion as possible. It's great to see a team continue to build momentum despite the loss of their starting quarterback, and we are all now witness to the short-lived era of Joshua Dobbs, one that will be remembered in Minnesota if they end up making the playoffs.